Hello friends, it's me, and today we're going to be watching a compilation of some of my top videos. A fan got a one year ban from a stadium, so they decided to rent a crane to watch the game. Oh my god, this is so extra. There's only so much you can do to get himself banned, but to rent out a crane? That sounds expensive, but okay, you got the best view. Ain't nobody in front of you, you got a view of the whole stadium, that's actually pure Genius. We got this whole area highlighted out for handicapped parking. And someone put their wheelchair. I mean, can you argue with this? I know it's supposed to be for cars, but they've just done parked their wheelchair there. Wait, then where do they go? Then are they really handicapped? Wait, that's illegal! This camp requires kids to send their parents a letter home after the first week of camp. Dear mom, I was forced to write this to eat. Love, Josh. Blink once if you need help. <laughs> Whoa, for real? I've never been to camp. I always wanted to go, but my parents would never let me spend the night anywhere. At a friend's house, even at my cousin's house. I wasn't allowed to spend the night, and let alone camp. Josh got it hard. I gotta write this letter so they could give me my PB&J. One like equals one PB&J for Josh. Gosh. Customer request. Please put the package under the doormat. You know what? This UPS guy got you. Walk up to the door like, under the doormat? What do you mean under the doormat? You literally ordered a desk. Okay, here's the doormat. Is this what you wanted? Well, you look like a fool, sir, for making such a ridiculous request. After eating his eight-piece bucket of fried chicken, this dude had a mega thirst. He's like, I ain't gonna pay $1.99 for a 16 ounce. Oh no, honey. Went to the bathroom, rinsed out the bucket, filled it up with some Sprite. Mmm, that's more like it. We gonna take this home, save some for later. It's gonna be flat, but it's okay. Maybe I'll get the Minute Maid lemonade. Nice. I don't know if this is legal. Will they call the police? Probably not. Will they kick you out of the store? Maybe. But I mean, it's worth a try. Unless you get like really unlucky. You know when you go to like a fast food place and then they have the whole soda station behind the counter? Like no. You want a water cup? I'll give you a water cup. Actually gives you a water cup. Those used to make me mad because I would always get a water cup and fill it up with Sprite. But no. It sucks when they do it for you and the soda machine is behind the counter. Like ain't no having fun in this establishment. So in this school, you're not allowed to have your boyfriend or your girlfriend at your dorm. It's strictly separated by gender. So this is what they did for movie night. Because they weren't allowed in the dorm, so they sat outside of the dorm and watched a movie. Aw, oh, that's cute. Nobody can tell you anything because the girl is not in the dorm. That's how you beat the system. Parking reserved for green vehicles only. Wow! So by green vehicles, obviously they mean like Teslas and electric vehicles. But no, this dude parked his actual green challenger. Like, you said green vehicle, I have a green vehicle. <laughs> I love this. Also, tell me why this car reminds me of Piccolo. Like, especially the ears, AKA the- Can I get an F in the chat for Billy? So this school does not allow Halloween costumes, but these kids wanted to dress up, so they dressed up low key. The whole Scooby-Doo squad is here. The teacher can't look at them and be like, mm, did you dress up? Is that a Halloween costume you got on there, Billy? Me? No, it's just a green shirt. Definitely not shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm watching you. Obviously, they're carrying Characters from Scooby Doo, but it's like they're also wearing regular clothes. Also, that sucks that some schools don't allow kids to celebrate Halloween. I know it started getting like that after I was in school. When I was in school, we were allowed to dress up, we were allowed to celebrate, decorate our lockers or whatever. I take Halloween seriously, okay? September 1st is when my decorations go up. I can't wait. I love Halloween. Halloween. Bad. I hit up Bath and Body Works, get my pumpkin scented candles tomorrow. Mom said the only thing I was allowed to bring to dinner today was rolls. Oh, rolls you say. Literally brought every single kind of rolls at the grocery store. Sushi rolls, Tootsie rolls, Swiss rolls, pizza rolls, Hawaiian rolls, fruit roll-ups. Bro, whatever rolls you want, I got the real MVP. <laughs> That's a lot of rolls. At this dude's workplace, there was a rule. All beverages must be in a cup with a straw. Okay, you know what? Cup, beverage. 
beverage straw. You know, that's a very weird rule. I get it. Like, you really gonna drink hot coffee with a straw? What about tea? You can't drink hot drinks with a straw. What are you doing? What are these rules? I'd like a refund. If your dog does a poo, please put it in a litter bin. <laughs> okay, Fido. You heard the sign. You going in the trash. Garbage dog. That'll teach you to take a poo. The dog is like, no, dad, I'm not ready yet. I'm still alive. What are you doing? Told my son it was too nice to play games inside. Okay, dad, you know what? Good idea. I'm gonna go outside and play some games. Sets up a table and chairs and a laptop so he can play Fortnite outside. We got a little innovator right here. Okay, why is this me though? <laughs> Man, I remember the good old days. We would go outside, climb trees, scrape our knees, chase some bees. Now all y'all kids do is play Fortnite. I'm just kidding. There was a sign in a bathroom that says, please flush. And some monster took the sign and tried to flush it. You are an actual animal, sir. You did not beat the system. You just straight up rude. This guy got a new job that required him to have a photo in a suit. Okay, but I can't afford a suit. But you know what? I got this job. It's supposed to pay my bills and make it so I can buy a suit. But until then, he Googled a picture of a guy in a suit and then photoshopped his head onto that guy. Ooh, genius. Like, suits are expensive. Ain't nobody can tell the difference. Tell me. This man doesn't look 100% natural in this photo. Seems legit to me. Proudest moment of my life was photoshopping my tire being flat to get out of work. I really finessed. Oh, you know what? That looks legit. I can't believe the boss actually fell for it. I mean, it's like, you wouldn't look at a tire and be like, yeah, that's definitely photoshopped. Some fishy over here. And it ain't Barbara's tuna sandwich. But that's pretty good. Got the tools in there. It's even got the shadow. You know, it's those little details that really make it look legit. Send me a pic of you in a bra. Denise be like, okay, you know what, I got you. Here is my school photo from 2013 in a bra. <laughs> got him. I mean, that's what Marcus asked for. He asked for a pic of you in a bra. Why did you ask for that, Marcus? That's a very odd request, but I suppose he got exactly what he asked for. This bathroom had a piece of paper that said, please check if you flushed. Thank you. And then all these kids actually did a check mark, like, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Every time I flushed, I wrote a little check mark. You know, I just wanted you to like look back into the bowl and make sure there was no doo-doo in there. But okay, if you want to check to make yourself feel better, be my guest. As long as the toilet is clean for the next guest, okay? Okay. These boys wore a skirt on a hot day at school to protest being told they were not allowed to wear shorts. What school district are boys not allowed to wear shorts? What? Seems the tables have turned. You know, decades of girls getting dress coded. Now boys are being dress coded for wearing shorts. When it's hot, what do teachers want us to wear? Y'all want us to show up in sweatpants all year round? Like some kids walk home from school. It's hot. Like this one boy wore shorts and all his homies got his back. Like, you know what? We got you. We all gonna wear skirts if we can't wear shorts. <laughs> I mean, they ain't happy about it, but they gotta do what they gotta do. All of y'all, dress coded. I wanna know where they got the skirts from. The girls just like swap with them? I still don't know what kind of school doesn't allow shorts for guys. I got dress coded a couple of times in high school. One time, I was wearing a skirt and I was wearing tights under it. And then it was a windy day and it was during a fire drill. And I think the gust of wind just like <sighs> lifted my skirt a little bit. You know, pull a little Marilyn Monroe. And then a teacher saw it and she grabbed me by my hand, dragged me to the principal's office. Like, I didn't even know this teacher. She wasn't even my teacher. She was like, I just saw your underwear, young lady. Your skirt went swoosh. And she was very, very upset about it. Like, I ruined her whole day. Then she called my mom. And then she took me to the nurse. And then I got sweatpants and like, they called it a loner t-shirt. But I was okay with it because it was kind of cute and it was comfy. Women are not allowed to attend soccer matches in Iran, but girls snuck in the stadium in disguise anyway. Oh, so y'all see these boys right here? Okay, first of all, girls aren't allowed to watch a soccer game? I hope you're like, I don't wanna watch your soccer game anyway. But these guys over here are actually girls that snuck in disguised as guys, and their disguises are on point. Like, if y'all didn't tell me, I would've just thought it was boys doing like a pose or whatever. But they're all girls, nice. 
Dogs are not allowed on the NYC subway unless they're in a carrier. So this dude found a whole canvas shopping bag and put his husky in it. I am shook. Oh, my shoulder just hurts looking at this. Huskies weigh like half of what I weigh. So just having that weight on one shoulder. Oh, my back broke, but I got him through. This is also very cute because big dogs aren't allowed to be in bags. They have to walk like the rest of us. There's a rule against pumpkins in my dorm, but they didn't say anything about pineapples. Bro, who knew? All this time, you could use a pineapple as a pumpkin. They carve so good. They look scarier because it looks like stuff is growing out of their face. And they got hair. Mohawks. The most dangerous kind of hair. Told my boyfriend the new puppy wasn't allowed in the bed. It's a puppy! How you not gonna allow it in the bed? But anyways, the boyfriend was like, okay, you know what? You can have the bed all to yourself. Me and Cooper, we sleeping on the ground. Wow. I'd feel horrible if I was the girlfriend. I'd be like, I made my boyfriend and the puppy sleep on the ground. Come on, it's like the puppy is new, is scared. You gotta let us sleep in your bed or your room the first few nights. Every time I did that, my puppy peed in my bed. But I mean, it's a puppy, it's gonna pee. I don't know. Bonus question. What country owns Greenland? Hint, not Greenland. Not Greenland. Oh, my boy got a plus one. Actually got it right because it's cheap. It's not Greenland. It's nice. When no drinks are allowed at the pool. You know what? Boys, I got you. They got lucky. They got a hotel room right above the pool. So they made a super mega straw to destroy all of the turtles. Why would you do that? You wasted hella straws. Connected them all so he could get that sweet sip. Are y'all really not allowed to have drinks at the pool? What if you get thirsty? Drink the pool water? I don't know. When I go swimming, I get thirsty. Choose a name for your character. Choose wisely, as it cannot be changed later. You know what? Good idea. I'll choose wisely. What a good name. Thank you for helping me, question. And they chose wisely. Understandable. Hello, friends. It's me, and I hope you love that video. Let's watch another one. When you wake up one day and realize you don't want to go to work, took their flat iron, turned it on high heat, put a thermometer up to it. Well, bam, 103 degrees. You are literally dying. Send it to your boss. I'm burning up. I won't be able to make it to work today. And with a fever that high, you might not even make it through the day. When you're at your kid's baseball game and they tell you no coolers, no alcohol, so they got these soda sleeves and you put it over your drink. Wow. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a raging alcoholic. I'm more surprised at how snug they fit. You see that? And turn this into Sprite real quick. I don't know, it's pretty sussy if you ask me. This dude asked for a refill on his fries at McDonald's and they actually gave him one? Huh? We got bottomless fries and we didn't even know? Or did he just get lucky? It was a large too. He got that extra, extra fresh. Where you going, bro? If you walk through that door, we're done. If you walk through that door, if you walk through that door, we're done. <laughs> wow. Wow. We'll just talk about this tomorrow. Not if you walk through that door, we're done. Okay, you don't want me to walk? I'll just do a roll. <laughs> That's good. I guess we are not done. We are actually pending. So I'll bring you some chicken nuggies tomorrow and we can talk about it. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be the most advanced security system on the planet. <laughs> what? So you're telling me at Target, they just got the PS5 chilling under a piece of plastic. And you could just... I'm just thinking about it. I'm not actually going to do it. This guy literally came out of nowhere and started paying for our meter. He was so happy. Oh man, this is real life. He got a coin taped to a stick. And he just like finessed the machine. Like it thought the quarter went in. The machine nine months later. I'll message Joel. Hey Joel, what do you want for your birthday? Whatever, lol. <sighs> okay, we got one of those. We got a Joel. A Joel? Oh, okay, I know exactly what to do. Print out the screenshot. You said you wanted whatever for your birthday. Put a bow on a soup spoon, a ladle, whatever you want to call it. There you go. You asked for whatever. I gave you whatever. You're welcome. He did what he had to do. I feel like I witnessed a crime. Like you just lift up the glass, finesse the jackpot real quick, and then put it down. Oh man, where was this when I was 10 years old at the Chuck E. Cheese? You know, every time I go to an arcade and they got this game where you have to like roll the balls into the holes, but now they have like bars on them because we used to like make sure nobody was looking and we would take all the balls and then like run up and then put it in the thousands. And then jackpot every time, baby. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Good. Are these free? Yes. Awesome. Do you, 
<laughs> oh, free candies? Might as well take the whole bowl. Yeah, the trick or treaters who come to my house do the same. Leave a bowl of candy out. They take my take one sign and take the whole bowl. This Karen was blocking a skater from using the rail. Ooh, and he just skirt. It still did his trick and landed it. What now? Imagine being grown and being concerned about kids skating in a public place. Like, I run a very successful business of minding my own business. In the bathroom there was a sign. Please check if you flush. Thank you. Instead of checking the actual toilet bowl for remains of last night's lasagna, we're just gonna check this piece of paper. I mean, you checked the paper but didn't check to see if you flushed. Oopsie. This dude decided to try some good old reverse psychology on his teacher, right? So he emailed him and he was like, question, is it possible for you to drop my grade down a couple percent? 89.41 is way too close to an A for me. I don't want to show this to my parents, knowing that it was that close. If it was like at an 85, they would understand that my grade couldn't move up a letter. So you know what he did? He was like, okay, you know what? 89.41, that is real close. Very close. Ah, heck, I'm gonna just give it to you. 90 point 11. You done rounded yourself up to an A minus. Genius. What in Alabama is this? My dude on the John Deere got a whole entire squad of lawn mowers. You know, we got a lot of lawn to mow. The lawn ain't gonna mow itself. <laughs> like that is actually like following him like a dang army of mowers. And you know, this is actually genius if it works successfully. I'm allowed to bring only rolls to the dinner table. What do you mean you can only bring rolls? That's a weird rule. Whatever kind of roll you want, they got. Sushi rolls, Tootsie rolls, Hawaiian rolls, fruit roll-ups, Swiss rolls, pizza rolls. Oh, we got them all. The dealer of rolls. I will not do dishes by any means necessary. That means I gotta take aluminum foil, wrap my bowl before pouring the cereal in, then so be it. I ain't washing a dish. Cereal bowls are probably the easiest thing to clean. Now, if you wanna talk oatmeal, I understand. But come on, it's milk and cereal. Just pour two seconds, two seconds. Even I will do it. I hate dishes. Even I will do it. This kid's geometry homework was like, name the 2D shapes. This square right here, I'm gonna name her Jade. Charlotte, she's looking on a little round. Charlie, for the rectangle. So, Pia, for the other circle. Harry, Emily, and Maria. Y'all didn't understand the assignment. Or did y'all not explain it well? You said name them. I so generously gave them a name. Now they are easily identifiable. The number of sides does not define you. Told my son to hang up his clothes. And this little mf -er did this. Hung up the clothes basket. Like, you want me to hang these up individually? Uh, I mean, the clothes are hung up, but you're still getting spanked. On the subway, they made this rule that you can only bring a dog that fits in a carrier. Okay, I have a big dog, but pop him in an Ikea bag and we good to go. Look at him, he's very polite. And he fits in the bag. He's following the rules. You know, in every kid's life, there comes a beautiful summer day where mother is like, what are you doing on the computer all day? Go play outside. You say go play outside? Lil Billy went outside. He's playing outside. He's having a great time until the laptop battery dies. I went on vacation with my 27-year-old brother and he did this the whole trip outside playing games. Personally, I like playing games at night in the dark. At this workplace, there is one rule and one rule only. All drinks must be in a cup with a straw. That's not good for the environment. So they pop their drink right in the cup. Pop a straw in. The only catch is it doesn't matter what you're drinking. From a monster to a margarita. It don't matter unless it's in a cup with a straw. That is such an unnecessary rule. Who made this up? CEO entrepreneur born in 1964. Jeffrey Bezos. Pesky little hole in your sock. Can everybody see your toes? Fill it in with Sharpie. I have done this before. My favorite leggings got a hole in the butt. All I have to do is do. We make the proposal just to get free dessert. We got the whole restaurant clapping, taking pictures, recording. You got your free dessert. And they even took their time on the congratulations and chocolate. That could be a 25 cent ring out the vending machine. Nobody's gonna question this. Yeah, here's a free dessert. Your meal on us. Yeah, congratulations for bamboozling the system. Next time I step on Lego, I will simply get taller. <gasps> Some Lego shoes. That's all it takes. So this is the last time a Lego will ever hurt me. Steps on it, it just makes him more powerful. No boo-boos. Only adds another health bar. 
My dad went to Vegas for five days. Put a camera in the house. The camera is in the living room. That should be illegal. You know, just checking up on the kids. Make sure they're doing their homework. Watching PG rated TV shows. Only Spongebob was allowed in my household. And iCarly after dark. So they took a photo of the room. And while daddy was asleep, took the surveillance camera. Put it face it, a photo of the living room. So the image does not move. All he's looking at is a picture of the living room. <laughs> That's pretty good. Mother thought she was smart and devious by locking her kid's PlayStation in a bathroom drawer. Even put a lock on it with a latch. Let you will never get this. All you had to do was remove the cabinet above. And wa-bam, it's right there. Hope you guys loved that video. Let's watch another one. She was laying down and didn't want to hold her phone. So she put it in between her sock and pants. And wa-bam, you got the perfect tripod. I am tempted to try this. All right, but what if you want to flip it the other way and watch TikToks? Except I wouldn't be sitting like this. <laughs> Actually would not recommend. This guy lives in LA and they're shooting a movie right by his house. So he's going to sneak onto the set. Alright, most important part. He's very there. confident in himself. It's gonna be too easy. And his abilities. It's gonna be too easy. Fit right in. Everyone's wearing masks, so nobody How's knows each man? other's face. You ready? Yeah, please. You're doing it or what? Yeah, we're doing it. Oh, this is the best part. All of the food. Yeah. They got so much food on set. That was way too easy than I thought. I got a ton of food. That was kind of all I went there for. Anytime I see a set, I'm gonna stop and go. Genius. Scrub. Nice guy behind the counter if he sees this. Thank you. Free infinite food glitch in real life. I mean, look at that. You see how much food they got? Is this what it's like not to have social anxiety? And you know, just walk into a random place, act like you fit in, and get free food? These guys dug a big enough hole at the beach for all of them to put the umbrella in and hang out inside the sand. Pop the umbrella in? You chilling underground? These guys know how to have a good time. Only dude bros allowed though. Think of all the things you could do with all this privacy at the beach. Hmm. Eat your pineapple pizza without the fear of being shamed. Mother got sick and tired of losing the remotes. Stuck them all onto a plank of wood. Good luck falling through the couch cushions now. Ain't nobody losing this. It is a plank of wood. The controllers are surgically attached. Not very convenient to use, but also convenient not to lose. Some good old parenting hacks. Why put cage around your child when you can put the cage around you? This dad tried it too. This way the child gets the entire living room to roam free. And father has his little barrier so he can play his games. Watching the child without watching the child. It's always dads coming up with these hacks. They did not want to wash a bowl. By any means necessary. We ain't doing no dishes today. Put their bowl in a Ziploc bag. Put the cereal and milk in. And then when they're done, clean bowl. You know, the psychological effect would have still made it feel dirty. So I would still give it a quick rinse. You know, one time I got real desperate. I used a plastic Walmart bag, the inside of it, to do this. Afterwards, I felt filthy. This mom dressed her kids up like shadows for Halloween. So she got them a black morph suit and then put black clothes on top of the suit. And look at them, they're terrifying. It looks like a cardboard cutout. There's even a baby. You see that thing crawling towards you in the dead of night. I'm running. I don't care if his strongest ability is being able to throw up and poop himself on command. I'm still running. Like, look at these things. They literally look like shadows. Spawn straight out the darkness. 10 out of 10 costume. My mom couldn't find Google Chrome, so I did this. Everybody pointing to it. And she's still gonna put on her glasses and be like, where is it? All the memes have joined forces to point to the Google Chrome. Don't ask me again. <laughs> when you can't afford braces, so you find your own solution for less than $4. Did you see that? Did they just put a tooth on? I thought it was gum or something. Perhaps a special pill that make your teeth straight? What is that? They just popped it on their teeth. And well, bam, perfect teeth. I have to wash like 30 times. Just stuck it onto their teeth. Clip on veneers. Why are we getting braces again? How I motivate myself to study. What is this? Every few pages, you get a whole entire candy bar. You know, I could understand if it was like the mini ones. You know, nothing I love more than motivating myself with food. Like on the days I work out, I get to eat whatever I want. If I do 20 pages of homework, I'd lock a candy bar. All right, that's pretty good. 
You know, sometimes in life you are faced with a very difficult choice. What kind of sandwich do I want to eat? So they made a nine-in-one sandwich. Yes, you heard me right. Bread number one, we got jelly, honey, and marshmallow fluff. Bread number two, peanut butter, Nutella, and almond butter. So it's like you have nine different sandwiches in one sandwich. Every bite is going to taste different. I want to try this. Honey on a sandwich, though, with peanut butter? We skip in the whole middle section. My little cousin was being bullied for his big ears, so I fixed them for him. I even took some Velcro, stuck it to his head, and then just pinned his ears back. Did it work? Or you know what? You can always wear a beanie or tell people they need to watch out, because if you flap your ears a little too hard, they're going to blow away. My parents invited all their friends and family to a costume party, and when the people got there, they found out it was actually their wedding. Wow! How are you gonna troll everybody you know like that? Like, yeah, it's our wedding, but we wanted you guys to dress up. And this is the only way that you would do it. Cause think about it, they can't be like, yeah, come to my wedding, it's gonna be a costume party. Nah! Did them a bamboozle. My roommate does not own an iron. So you know what this genius did? He took a hot pan off the stove and started smoothing his shirt with it. You see, I thought I was smart using a flat iron and just like smoothing out the creases, but this dude took it to the next level like pan, shirt, no more wrinkles? I think he's onto something. I FaceTimed my PlayStation so I could play in the bath. Excuse me for judging. I didn't know adult men took baths. Has your dad ever taken a bath? Boyfriend? No. I've never seen it. Get this dude chilling in the bathtub, playing GTA 5. That delay gonna be nasty. It's gotta be a little laggy, at least enough to drive you insane. The best way to save money if you don't have self-control, they took a jar, super glued the lid on, cut a little slit as a hole. And now when you're like, ooh, looks like it's a lot of money, let's break into the little jar fund. You can't. That's why piggy banks, you gotta wait till they're extra plump, full of cash, before you break them open. Mom was always complaining about her teenager's stinky room. So he got some deodorant and taped it to the front of his fan. You know, somehow, I think there might be a better way. You can buy some Febreze, perhaps a candle, burn some incense. No! Real men use a deodorant fan. A pioneer of scent. It was ugly Christmas sweater day at work. This guy right here, Juan, walks up to his boss with a mirror taped to his sweater. So I want you to look at it. Ugh. The ugliest mug on the ugliest sweater imaginable. Uh, get it? It's you. Ugliest sweater award goes to me because you're on it. His boss was like, dang, you right. You win. Here's a free pack of gum. There's a coyote outside. You know what that means? Coyote vest time. She got her little dog one of these spiky coyote vests. I hate coyotes. They prey on little dogs. Worst animal out there. They can all die. Vegan teacher getting ready to write my ex. So you can get these vests for your dogs that are very spiky that turn dog into porcupine. So when the coyote tries to bite, it will get a mouthful of spikes and hopefully die. Finally, I understand why cars have these things. Not to look cool or be aerodynamic or nothing. It's a table for your girlfriend to enjoy her meal. I mean, that's pretty smart. If it fits a chip, you said no eating in the car, I'ma eat on the car. It even got a built-in table, even better. At this convention, somebody cosplayed the actual convention center. <laughs> like the building that they're all in for this convention. But he's dressed up as the building. All right, all right, that's pretty good. That is more than good. All right, slap you a good one up high. Or down low. I don't have any spooks <laughs> or forks, so I broke off a piece of hanger so I could eat. <laughs> Girl, there is struggling, and then they're surviving. Why use broken coat hanger when have perfectly good set of chopsticks right here on every hand? You're welcome. It was daddy's turn to feed the baby, and you know what he did? He put some bananas over the baby, a banana hand, held the bottle to feed the child. She ain't got no complaints. She's still drinking from it. I don't care if it's a human hand or a banana. Does not matter. As long as baby get the bottle, baby don't care. This guy tweeted to his local police department, can you get in trouble for driving over the white line all the way at a red light? Hi Luke, it's an offense for any part of your vehicle to pass the white stop line if a traffic light has turned red. Thanks. <gasps> no worries, that's what I figured. And literally post the picture of a police car. Stop way past the white line at a red light. Well, would you look at that? That is an offense. Are you gonna write him up though? Is he gonna get in trouble though? Hmm. Probably not. At this bakery, they were selling brownies and they were labeled based on what part of the pan that they were baked in. So the red ones are centerpieces, the green one is corner, and then blue, top tier brownie, the edge pieces. When I bake brownies, all the middle pieces free game. All of the edges belong to me. I love me a good crust, the best part of the brownie. 
Funny story! A man from China bought a first class ticket with access to a VIP lounge that had free food. And he rescheduled his flight over 300 times in a year so he could have over 300 free meals. When they investigated, they found that after eating, he would change his reservation to a later date. And then he finally canceled his ticket and got a full refund. <laughs> My man got so much time to go to the airport almost every single day, get a free meal from the VIP lounge, go home, and then reschedule his flight for another day. If you're gonna put in all that effort, sir, you deserve the free meals.